Okay, well, uh, first of all, I would like to apologize for my English. Okay, so I will try to do my best. And if you have any doubt or anything else, uh, please just ask. If you are watching this in YouTube, in YouTube, uh, I'll do my best. Uh, sorry, uh, it's what it is. Uh, you should have come to, <laughs> to the session in life. Okay, uh, the second, I would like to, to thank you all for being here and, and welcome to the Con Festival International, uh, Calab Group Virtual. And thanks to, the, to all the people that organize this Con Festival. Uh, some of them are in this talk and really, really, really grateful to, to, to those people. And thanks a lot for, for making this possible. Okay. Uh, well, um, well, about this talk, uh, well, first of all, Dra uh, Dragon Dreaming is huge for just two hours, okay? So in this, in this talk, I will share my mistakes and the way out of has that I discovered that I realized uh, how to, to pass through, through these mistakes, to, to solve these mistakes. Uh, it's amazing because I will repeat uh, the same th things uh, you always hear about Dragon Dreaming, but uh, because of those ahas, um, the, perspe the, per the perspective uh, will be quite different. In that way, I will be honest. Uh, probably you will thought that I will be rough, okay? Maybe brute and maybe nasty. But uh, please take nothing, nothing is personal. And I will try to use uh, innocent humor like a child. Okay, so I will, I learned that the most important thing uh, you have to learn about is to, to, to love about yourself, be able to love about yourself. Uh, your, your great things are your worst things. And I use this this innocent humor, this child humor, to to run through all my life. So we'll be in this chat, okay? Uh, well, the the talk is about uh, why why dragon dipping uh, does not work. Why why it doesn't work, right? Okay? So go on. Uh, first uh, error or mistake or opportunity, because. Uh, I realized that the, that the mistakes, what, what we could consider a mistake, uh, if we celebrate it, it's an opportunity. So this is why I talk about mistakes and opportunity, is that uh, we get complicated. We, we tend, uh, we used to complicate everything. And this is uh, because our occidental minds uh, tend to sophistication, technification, and complexity. What is technification? Uh, technification is, uh, for example, uh, I don't know if it's true, but uh, it's, it's told that the, the, when, when, the, when the space career starts, uh, the NASA start to investigate uh, a way that the, that the, that the pens couldn't work in space. And after a, a few years or month or months, depends on the session, they they realize a, a pen that could work in zero gravity. Okay, well, uh, Russians take a pen, take a pencil. Okay, so I have one. That Russians take a pencil. So a lot of energy, a lot of uh, billion dollars, a lot of work of a lot of people. Uh, when when you have an easier solution, and and this is technification, this is sophistication, and this is complexity. This is how how our occidental minds works, and this is how we tend to complicate everything. We tend to to look for complexity uh, when we look uh, when we don't have it. We look for it outside uh, to feel comfortable, and the problem is that uh, dragon dreaming is simple, plain, easy, and playful. Because dragon dreaming is authentic. It's like it's, it's like the pencil, you know. And and this is why uh, a lot of uh, dragon dreaming things uh, doesn't work for us. So we need to change our mind. Uh, lucky of me, I, uh, I like most of you. 
I look into into other things, uh, into the known, uh, into the the things I know outside Dragon Dreaming, and and those things, uh, personal development and uh, Filipino martial arts, uh, send me back to Dragon Dreaming, and this is why I'm doing this this talk now. Okay, so. Because in in one of the styles I practice from from Filipino martial arts, uh, it said return to basics. So so I go outside, and and then I read return to basic, and I return to Dragon Dreaming. I said what the basics says. So I return to basics, okay, like like Coco in in Elmer Street, and I rediscover uh, the the tools that. Uh, and, and a way and a new way of using the tools we already know. I discovered a lot of uh, new uses for for pinakari, uh, for for the wisdoms, uh, generative questions, kalabgur, uh, deep listening. Uh, kalabgur is uh, already I discovered that for example kalabgur is the, the the concept of kalabgur, the philosophy behind kalabgur, is already uh, the support and and the light. To, to, to other tools like charismatic communication, like deep listening, like storytelling, uh, behind the caravan and, and a lot of things, uh, use this concept of Calab Gur, which, it, which is quite simple. So, so I rediscovered all, all of things and, and I start using uh, these, uh, these different tools in, in other ways, okay? So, okay, well, uh, this is the, the celebration moment questions. Aha, comments, I will stop to, to share. And please, I, wa I want to listen, to, to listen on all of you. Okay. Anyone wants to, to say anything, comments, ahas? You could write in the chat or just talk, whatever you want. It's okay, uh, Junia said that uh, she feels that can talk today. You could, you could write if, if you want anything you want to say, it's okay. So anyone? Okay, it's okay. We continue. I just, oh. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. no. It's, a, it's a bit for me uh, now, like, very uh, new perspective so it's uh, kind of difficult to relate i um i can totally agree that dragon dreaming is actually simple and uh even the dragon dreaming circle itself feels for me very much enough <laughs> for for many things to change uh in the way how how i do things uh i it's hard for me to relate about like uh, generalizing and um, when I hear that our mind is like that, I feel resistance because it's this generalizing that doesn't really work for me, but uh, I'm trying to also step out. And uh, I mean, I can agree that minds can often tend to complicate and uh, yeah, but it's still very new. So I just, I think for me, it's too early to agree or disagree. It's just something that probably you are more expert at the moment than because you made more research. Yeah, that's just my <laughs> echo. Yes, uh, thanks, uh, uh, Valeria. Um, well, I'm still learning. Chad. To be honest, I'm still learning about Dragon Dreaming and I'm still learning about myself uh, as the, the talk go deep, uh, you, you, all of you will realize that. So I'm, I'm not considering myself as, as an expertise. So thanks for the, 
for the words, but I'm not considering myself uh, as an expert. I, I still consider myself as a student. Regarding the complexity uh, of the mind, um, you should thought that uh, Russian people have their brains work a little bit differently than the rest of the Occidental people. Because, because of uh, your culture, you have the possibility to, to, to work it differently. It's, it's hard for me to explain in, 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 in words. It's like uh, most, of, uh, most of the European people and a lot of uh, people in the, in the, in the in, in American continent uh, forget a lot of, uh, of their own cultures. And it's like, um, so, sorry, which people, I mean, uh, the, the, the Europeans and, and, the, and the people from the, from the American continent, most of them tend to forget about their roots. But in Russia, uh, you don't forget about it. Uh, each, each country in, in, in Europe uh, have their own roots, but those roots uh, are quite disconnected because when the, when the Roman civil, civilization came, uh, they almost erased uh, all, the, all the Aboriginal culture in most of the countries. We have some, uh, some um, archaeological sites, but uh, we don't even know too much about them because uh, the, the Roman Empire wiped out most of all of them until, until the, the frontier of the Roman Empire. And, and Russia is out of that frontier. The frontier was in the, in the, in, in the German lands within the Rhine. The Rhine, they use the, the Rhine as a frontier and they go to, uh, to I, I don't remember exactly, some part of Ireland maybe and, and some part of the UK and they built a, a wall over there. And all inside the Roman Empire were completely wiped out. We don't know too much about that. And, and for me, this, um, this is the, the, the start, the, the, the Roman Empire is the start of the Occidental way of mind. Because um, not likely the Greeks, the Roman focus on, on to do things work. And this is uh, where our minds started to, to look for things to work. And we forgot to, to, to celebrate, we forgot to, to dream. We have started to, to use uh, our, our left brain and we forgot the, the, the right one. Uh, the one with the arts, with the expression, with the dreaming, with the chaos and, and things like that. And, and you, you people from Russia have the lack that uh, are, are not completely Occidental. So your brains work differently. You could approach dragon dreaming in a different way that we are. And, and you are so lucky because of, because of that. So probably you have easiest way to to use a, a simple way of living, a simple, a simple tools and, and things like that. For example, uh, for me was a, for, for me and Danny was a great discover to, to, to use the wisdom. We, we, we take a, a bowl and, and put papers with the wisdom inside, throw to the wall and each day we, we just move it and, and take out one wisdom and maintain us in the question uh, about how this wisdom wisdom could apply in in this day for, for all for all the other day and make a lot of pinacaris during that day and and this is really quite simple but we learn a lot 
about dragon dreaming and I learned about us. And we are using two tools, Pinakari and wisdom. And it, and it changed our lives. Anyone wants to, I, I don't know if I answered you in a, in a manner of speaking or do you have something else to say? I, I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. Anyone wants to say anything? Uh, yes, Daniela. You have a couple of comments of Sveldana in the chat. If you want, I can read them. Or you can read them yourself. Yeah, no, you, you, you have to uh, read you. Read you to, 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 to. <laughs> okay. She says, I feel that the concepts are simple, but I find that change is complex. I don't know how to make change simple. I personally never experienced changing or growing being simple. And then she adds, for example, I find connecting to dream a very simple process, yet... I find that for many people, dreaming is not easy. And yes, I agree that it is our mind or beliefs that complicate them, yet they are there and we need to face them. Yes, this is uh, exactly the, the, the question of the thing. Uh, as we'll see um, while the, the, the talk continue, uh, we will focus on that, okay? I, I don't want to spoil the, the, the talk, so if you are agree, we will continue and, and as, as, as Veltana, you will see that uh, that, you are correct, you are correct, okay. I don't want to spoil the chat, the, the talk, so, okay. Everybody agrees, okay, continue, continue. Yes, yes or no? Yes, yes, yes. Marilyn? Michelle, okay, okay. So we continue. The um, as we uh, advance in the in the talk, uh, we will go deeper and deeper into into dragon dreaming. Okay, so let's go to the second 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 error, second mistake or opportunity. Okay, uh, I call it uh, the trees avoid us to see the forest. Okay. Uh, we always said that dragon dreaming is a methodology, okay? And that is correct. Uh, the thing is that, uh, as I call the four pillars of dragon dreaming, methodology is only a part, one part, one part of four from the, from the dragon dreaming, the basis of dragon dreaming. We have the philosophy, we have the tools, we have the, what I call here, human connections, uh, which is uh, creating community or celebration, which it's, uh, I, I realized that the celebration is about human connections, uh, how we uh, behave and how we uh, relate to, to each other, okay? This is how about celebration is. So I prefer to, to, to name it uh, human connections, okay? Human, human relations. So, uh, other things we do is we said is um, a methodology for project design. So here we need to ask uh, what is a project? Okay, a project is a story in which I am the protagonist. A story in which I am the hero is the story of my inner path. This is the thing. Anything I could think about it, think for me is the same as dream, it's a project. So for me, uh, the most important project is my life. So 
to to tie my shoes, to fry an egg, uh, to build an enterprise, to build a spaceship to go to Mars. From the egg to the shoe tie to go to Mars, all of them are projects. And if Dragon Dreaming is made to apply in projects, I should apply to all of them. And also to the most important project, which is my life. So what is happening here? Why, why we say and focus on methodology for project design and only use or see projects uh, like, a, like a, a narrow view of projects? Why, why is that? Because Dragon Dreaming is fractal. How many times do we hear that Dragon Dreaming is fractal? Okay, here. Here we got the, the picture of, of a Romanescu, okay? Which is, uh, I know like same color of vegetable or something. I don't know. Uh, if, if you look at it, it's, uh, if, if you zoom into one cone, okay? And you zoom into another tiny cone, and, and only focus on that, you will believe that you are working with the whole, but you only have a, a part of it. This is what fractal means. You know, uh, the, the meaning of fractal is that the, the part shapes like the whole, but it's not the whole. It represents the whole, but it's not the whole. There are other parts that uh, could represent the whole, but aren't the whole either. So with uh, I realized that with Dragon Dreaming happens all the time. And, and this is why, uh, uh, plus our, our minds, this is why we have this, this narrow view of, of a lot of things in Dragon Dreaming, and this is why I hear, and also I do, a lot of people like me do, is to say Dragon Dreaming does not work, doesn't work, I need to find everywhere else. And as we said, the problem is that we have that uh, narrow view of, of, of the things that we could do. And for me, this is the, this is the second mistake, okay? Uh, so, well, let's go to the, to the celebration part. I will stop sharing. Okay. Uh, comments, ahas. Uh, Esvelanta say, uh, yes, thank you. <laughs> you are welcome, it's a pleasure. <laughs> Uh, anything else? Want to, to add something, to say something? I agree about fractal uh, nature and the picture is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, fractal, fractal is, uh, is a very, very uh, interesting structure of, of nature because um, it's quite tricky. As I explained, uh, you, could, you could watch or, or look at a part and, and you could stay thinking that this, this is the whole. And, and Dragon Dreaming is, is, is fractal and Dragon Dreaming is uh, as, as I learned in, 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 in alchemy, uh, I consider mas, myself as an alchemist. As I learned, uh, Dragon Dreaming is a representative of, of the cosmos, it's a representative of the whole. So this is why it's quite tricky, quite tricky. Thanks, uh, Valeria, for, for your words. Anything else want to, to add something? Uh, Michelle says uh, in the chat, Thank you. Uh, can you share peak again, please? Uh, my connection is choppy. Yes, of course, of course. And also, let me, uh, uh, a 
moment, please. Sí, aquí. F5. Wait a moment. Whoa, no. Uh, here you go. I want. I want to to say something um, regarding fractals. Um, as you could see, here the the water drops are some kind of, of a fractal structure. Uh, and this is why I use uh, this uh, in th this photo, okay? And also here you can see another, another fractal structure. This is uh, uh, a mathematical shape of fractal structure, but uh, as the drops and this one, this is how really uh, nature fractal words is a little bit different than the mathematical structures we call fractals, uh, uh, which for me is a, a narrow point of view of fractals. And as you could see, fractals are, are quite, quite tricky in the nature. Um, there is a point of view, a way of view the, the world in which um, we have a scale in, in octaves, um, I don't know, I, I write in the, in the chat because I will try to write in the chat. I don't know if I'm able to, okay. Um, Uh, uh, yes, Michelle, uh, I will give you my mail, okay? And in the end of the, of the, in the, in the end of the, of the talk, uh, you will have uh, all our um, uh, social media to contact also, um, ooh. I will write my, my mail. I can write it down. You can continue. Okay, okay, thank you. Um, so, uh, uh, I, I was talking about, um, por favor, uh, Dani, tradúcelo, please. The, the, the octaves, the, it's called also the law of seven. Uh, which uh, structure the, the the fractal entities in nature, and um, human beings are a complete whole, are, are a fractal view of the cosmos, as for example the the um, the, the atoms, and uh, in that way, dragon dreaming is a is a complete. Uh, view uh, from, from the cosmos, which Greeks call cosmos, uh, which, uh, what is a cosmos? A cosmos is a, a fractal part of the, of the whole, of the divine, okay? So this is for me why, when I discovered that, I was like, oh, this is amazing. And, and I discovered that this is why Dragon Dreaming is so tricky. As, as simple and easy is quite tricky, okay? So, well, I will continue with the, with the presentation. Okay, uh, thank you, Danny. So, I will go for the third error or opportunity, which uh, I call happily ever after. This is, this is quite important when we are building uh, communities, okay? Um, because we thought that uh, everything will be happy forever. When we start, we have a lot of uh, enthousi enthu uh, enthusiasm. We are really happy. We want to, to build together. We are 
you know, this is like a Disney movie. With the birds are singing, the flower talk to us, and sooner or later it comes to an end. Okay. And we are like this goose. Uh, <laughs> what are you saying to me? You know, like discussing and everything. And what is happening? The, the, the thing is, uh, we already listen now, we all know it, uh, that the expectations uh, are quite different than the reality. This is what happened. When I mean uh, reality, I, I, an, an expectation, I mean that um, sometimes when we are talking, we thought, uh, I call it um, uh, anthropometry, okay? <laughs> Uh, and we thought that uh, we are using the same words in the same way. So this is an expectation. And you, can, you could have uh, a group of people using the same words and what they mean for that words are quite different. And also we expect, we have the expectations for, for other people to behave as we thought uh, what they are talking. So we are using words as labels and these labels uh, are not always for the same things. And also even we are talking about the same things, uh, they are different that make it different. I, I call it the, the paradigm of, of Babel, el, el paradigma de Babel. Uh, and it's quite amused that um, when, I, I, when I say a word, for example, uh, pen, okay, or a cup, or a car, uh, in the moment I say the word, you, gonna, you connect it with a picture, with an, an, an image in your brain. And that picture, that, that image is different from the rest. It's unique. So imagine what happens if something so exact as a car, as a cup, as a pen. And we have different point of view of that object. What should happen when we talk about freedom, love in action, building a community? Always, always the expectations will be quite different. And what I thought about the, the image I have in my brain, in my mind, about all those concepts will be quite different from the rest. This is why we use win, win, win. We, we have a, a, also a verb in, in, in Spanish that we call it winear. We make the action to win, win, win with the rest of the people. And the first of all, we talk about what we are talking. We share with the rest of the people, we winamos with the rest of the people what we want to, to set, what mean for us build a community, what uh, meant for us uh, love in action and, and all, these, uh, all, all these topics. And this is what happens because the expectations never will fix reality, we have the dragons. And we tend to, to forget that, that the dragons are an essential part, the dragons here, you see, are the essential part of dragon dreaming. It's also in the name. And I was amused when, when I realized that, that the dragon uh, is, is in the name of, of dragon dreaming. Also, also, it's amazing because I have here an, an, an old manual, okay? And if you could see, the dragon have, uh, have a pearl 
in, in, in his hands or her hands. That pearl is the dreaming. And around that pearl, around the dreaming is the dragon. We need to pass through the dragons to go to the dreaming. And this is why uh, we use the checking. The checking is a celebration too. In the checking, we start everything celebration with, with uh, a celebration, celebrating. Because when we celebrate, we arrive to the dreaming when, with, with, with less, uh, I need to, to check for a word, uh, sorry. Oh, with, with less loads. So, so um, we, we have less weight with us when we arrive at dreaming. And, and for me, this is an, an essential part. And, and as you see, it's, it's a really quite simple and easy, an, an easy aha. But it's for, for me changed everything because it's like what, what happened always in a project that uh, we have the we forgot the celebration as, as we'll, we see. Uh, we just talk about the dreaming. We thought everybody is talking about the same thing because we are using the same words and, and we, we plan using words to plan. So we are still in the illusion that we are talking about the same, but because we are in the happily ever after phase, uh, we, we, we don't listen to our feelings that something is wrong here. And we avoid that feeling. And then we go in the illusion that everybody is talking about the same, everybody's thinking the same, everybody is going to do the things as uh, we thought should be done, we go to the to the to the do phase, and what happened? The dragons. So, for me. It's quite important to, to realize that uh, we are using dragon dreaming and in dragon dreaming, we need to, to pass to the dragons to, to get the pearl, to get the gem, to get the, to the dreaming, to get to the, to, the, to the things done. And it's quite important that uh, if you start to, to realize that you could work with the dragon in, in a stages where the dragon are less fear, fear are less, um, less brave, are less big, which is the dream and the celebration. Uh, and also sometimes the planning stage, uh, we could afford to, to, to go to the, to the dual stage uh, with uh, tiny dragons. And also dragons that uh, don't overwhelm us. So we could work with those rounds. So return to basics. As I said, um, Dragon Dreaming is personal development. Dragon Dreaming is community building. And Dragon Dreaming is server, service to the earth. The first win is personal development. So here uh, I want to, 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 to bold that uh, if we don't achieve personal development, if we take out personal development from our projects, uh, we will have a problem with, uh, we are trying to dance with the, with the dragons because uh, the, the base of the second and the third win is the first win, personal development. So uh, when I realized that, was like, wow, and, and everybody is, is thinking about uh, a narrow view of projects, a narrow view of 
of methodology and our view of the tools. And also because we, we have those uh, complicated occidental minds, we want things done. As I said, as the Roman Empire, we are so practiced, extremely practiced that we forget, sometimes we forget to, to dream. Uh, and, and the celebration is, you know, the is doesn't count <laughs> because we need to plan and do, we need to plan and do, we need to plan and do. And, and because of that, we take out that, that personal development. And, if we don't work in, in personal development, uh, we will miss the, 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 for me, the most essential part of the thing because uh, we, we are trying to make the things, but personal development is a tool that brings us uh, the opportunity to, to change our minds, to change ourselves in order to, to build different things. So uh, we, we, we try to, to make projects, the project fails, and without changing anything, uh, we, we confront that problem uh, exactly as same as we create the problem. As, as Einstein, Einstein said, uh, we need to change something there to cool solve the problem. Uh, so the most important thing we could change there, uh, as we say, uh, our lives is our most important project. And uh, I, I drive into my life uh, being me. So if I change myself, I could change my lives, my life. And when I do that to my most big and important project, whatever I do when I change myself, will change the results of whatever I do. And that means the rest of the projects. So, as I said, the wind is personal development. So anything I'm unable to do for me, couldn't never do it for others, for the environment. The second and the third wind are the environment. So every project, will be a dumping of my lights and shadows. We use the rest of the projects different than my life. Uh, again, I, I want to repeat it. Uh, tie my shoe, fry an egg, or build a spaceship to travel to Mars. Okay. All of them will be uh, opportunities to improve our own life project, the most important project, our life. Because all projects, including my life, are, are the reflection of my lights and shadows. So how am I aware of my shadows? Because the environment, the others act, as, uh, act as my reflection, act as a mirror to show me what I have to change in myself. So when I'm upset with anyone, I need to, 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 to think, well, well, you don't need to do nothing. What I do is to, to, to ask to myself, uh, why is he bothering me? Okay, he is, uh, I don't know, he's nasty. Okay, the way I live this thing, this action is that somebody is nasty with me. So if I'm bothered, I need to think when I am nasty to others. This is why I need to focus on. And why am I nasty? And when I say nasty is everything you, you feel. Because this is the thing. I, I couldn't change forever 
what others do. But I always could change how do I feel what others do. And this is what personal development is about. The first win. And for me was so, so important that change everything about our women. So, okay, uh, celebramos questions, ahas, comments. I will stop sharing. I'd like to add one moment that that was maybe my aha moment about these three um, goals of Dragon and Dreaming about personal development, community, and the the service to the earth. Is that I guess what the ingredient that is sometimes missing when I see and that I, I feel is the very important is that responsibility, like. Dragon dreaming doesn't work when uh, if I'm not ready to take responsibility on all those three dimensions. If I and like and it should be every person in the team taking responsibility for their personal development, for uh, creating the community, and for uh, creating a, a good service for the earth. So I think responsibility is a really something that is, uh, can be a missing but very important part. Yes. Yes, we have a wisdom that uh, responsibility uh, uh, equals freedom, freedom equals responsibility. When- and just what- yeah, sorry, sorry. No, 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 no. Continue talking. Continue talking. So, sorry. What what I often see in uh, in the teams uh, also who say that dragon dreaming doesn't work and they come with questions is that the there is often this uh, responsibility that is lost somewhere. And dragon dreaming doesn't work. So it's it was not my mistake. It's dragon dreaming doesn't yeah. work. <laughs> or. It's, it's not my problem, but it's the team is not ready. And um, yeah, but that's, that's a good question. Like, why am I uh, working with the team like this? I can always uh, bring this uh, question back. Uh, well, uh, yeah, this is, this is a way uh, we are used to uh, uh, life with it. If you if you um, look at the at the behavior of the people, this is a common behavior. Uh, we tend to 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 not to be responsible of of our mistakes because we are learned that uh, our mistakes are horrible, and we don't see our mistakes as an opportunity. Yeah. To, to learn about uh, how we do better the next time we are going to do things. And it, it's common for the people that uh, all the fault is outside. I never look inside. And this is what uh, personal development is about. It's about looking inside. Okay, we have, okay, uh, we have, um, uh, to 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 fractals, okay, to two levels of uh, two octaves of of personal development. One, which is the most common use of personal development, that is about um, you know abilities to acquire abilities, to be better in doing something, which is correct and. There's a deeper one, which is about myself, which is about oneself, which is about to change, to know 
us better. And this is the place when at the end, you are always looking to yourself. We said uh, when, when you point with your finger, there are three or four fingers that are pointing at you. And it's, it's really hard to, 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 to talk about it because it's rough. It's tough, it's, it's nasty, it's unpleasant, and, and again, it's a dragon. But uh, I thought that uh, we, we have the responsibility to, 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 to talk in that way. And said, um, okay, dragon dreaming doesn't work. So what could you change in order to make dragon dreaming work? And most people will, will uh, ask, I have another tool from, no, 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 no. Focus on dragon dreaming. Start thinking differently. What do you have in Dragon Dreaming that could use in another way to make it work? What could change in yourself to make it work? Because Dragon Dreaming is personal development and we forgot about it. It's easier to, to go outside and look for other things. And I guarantee that there will be a lot of people that leave us because uh, it's the, the, the uncomfortable way of, 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 of growing. But for me, it's the, it's the only way. Because as I said, it's dragon dreaming. And the first thing we need to pass through are the dragons. Um, I don't know if I ask you the, the question, if it helps. Um, is it uh, for me, the phrase? Yes. Uh, I didn't hear the question. Uh, yeah, I hear that you have um, a lot of reflections on the topic and uh, many of them uh, I feel quite quite familiar with and uh, okay. I also question the, there is a question um, that I ask often like okay why me or other people should try and spend the time of life to make dragon dreaming work why why should I make dragon dreaming work for me that is true there are many thousands of different tools methodologies and instruments and that the, just the, the answer that I find for myself is, and it's in the field of values. Mm. Because if, if there, uh, without value, I don't have any other reason to follow any methodology of any genius person in the world. But only if it match my own value, which is personally deeply important for me, then I would be dedicated. Then I will find a way to make it work or to question. And uh, this is another layer. And I think also like probably Dragon Dreaming really doesn't work for those who just not sharing this, these values that are represented. And that can be totally true. Well, then it just doesn't work. And it work for those who who share the value for those who think that it's important. And then there will be this why. I'm just thinking with you together now. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Two key words for me now. It's this values and responsibility that um, make it actually work. The thing is that uh, we want a better place to live in. And um, to make uh, this, this planet a better place to live in, 
uh, we need to change something in order to build a better place. And for me, the only way we could build a better place is to be better persons, better people who could make better things. And the only way I find to do that is through personal development. To change ourselves in better people who could uh, have relations with others in, in a better way, more authentic. And, and we all together uh, could build better things for a build a better place. <laughs> because for me, if uh, we don't do that, we are going to repeat the same mistakes over and over and over again. And this is why sooner or later, uh, people will realize this is the way. Okay, uh, uh, I, if you have you uh, anything else to, to say, I, I want to hear it. And then da Daniela goes, okay? Okay, Daniela. Um, what Valeria said, uh, um, uh, que, que put me thinking, and I said, I believe that Dragon Dreaming is available for everyone, but is everyone available or ready for Dragon Dreaming? Maybe not. Maybe we and not everyone is uh, in the the position to make uh, dragon dreaming useful, and that is why maybe some people say it doesn't work. I don't know. It's just a, a thought, a question that I leave open. We said here, uh, some of us uh, in, in Spain, we said that projects are the excuses for, for looking to ourselves. So if uh, you are looking for a methodology, you got it in Dragon Dreaming. It's a part of Dragon Dreaming. You also have it. If um, you are unable to, to work with some tools. Uh, you could mix it perfectly with others because, because Dragon Dreaming could be mixed with almost everything. But uh, for me, in, in at some point, uh, as I said, um, there's a the moment you realize you have to be responsible for your own. You have to be responsible for your thoughts, for your actions for your feelings and you have to start asking uh, how do I change myself in order to make things work. And as Danny said, uh, I'm completely agreeing. Are we ready for Dragon Dreaming? We will we will see in the in the in the end of the presentation. Are we ready for it? Are we able to make it work? This is the question. And it's an open question, of course. Okay, so if, if you are agree, uh, I finished the, the presentation and we continue talking about that because it's, it's quite interesting. Are you, are you okay with that? Fingers up or, or down as you like, okay? Okay, okay. Marilyn, Michelle, okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, I will continue. Aquí está. 
So the the fourth uh, error or, or opportunity I encountered was uh, what I call the, the prodigal song, the, the celebration. And I call it the prodigal son because celebration is like the, the prodigal son. Goes away <laughs> and when, when he or she returns, it's always like, oh, oh we need to celebrate more. But then uh, we keep her away from the room again and then he returned the celebration return and it's like, whoa, we need to celebrate. No? So this is why I call it, it's like a personal joke. This is why I call the prodigal son. So the problem is, of course, the absence of, of the celebration, okay? It's like uh, a pital part of, of Dragon Dreaming uh, stays away. We, we keep it away. And, and what is happening? Uh, well, as I said, uh, we have to start to think uh, of mistakes as something natural, something inevitable, only uh, reducible. We we arose like like the water with the rocks. Okay, we 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 arose slowly. Uh, how how we committed mistake uh, using personal development. We, we are more aware about things. When we are more aware about things, um, I, have, I have a video in, in Spanish about, about uh, why we are making mistakes. Um, uh, we, we are more aware about things. Uh, we, we have more, more information. And because we have more information and we are more aware, we consider more alternatives. And when we consider more alternatives, uh, we have a more point of views of planning and doing the projects. So uh, when, when we expand our consciousness uh, through personal development, we have, uh, we are more capable of uh, manage more information. So more information means more aware, more aware means uh, more alternatives, more alternatives means more possibilities and more ways of doing things. And this is like, like a cycle, this is, it's, it's, it's like a wheel. It continue increasing, 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 increasing and this is the way, like, like the world with the rocks, we arose this, uh, this, these mistakes. And for me, this is no other way. And I thought about it a lot, <laughs> okay? So the thing is that, it, because it's impossible, this is the only way to reduce mistakes, but uh, they are continue to happen. Uh, we could use mistakes as a chance. They are a chance of evolve ourselves, of learn about it, to, to do not repeat it. Or if I, we repeat it, uh, make it uh, tiny, <laughs> okay? So uh, in the celebration, I could see my mistakes later. Uh, when, when, when it passes uh, in order to learn from it. So we return again to, to the basics, okay? To the four pillars of Dragon Dreaming. And the philosophy is uh, the same phase as the dream. The methodology is the same phase as the planning. The tools is, is the same phase as the doing. And uh, the human connection, the community building is the same phase as the celebration. So we need to celebrate in order to review what happened and uh, learn about our mistakes. We need to, 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 to celebrate our mistakes. We need to party our mistakes. 
because they are a chance for us to see our shadows. If we, if we see, we are in the fourth uh, pass of the same circle. The difference is that it's not a circle, it's an, an spiral, and we are going down deeper and deeper and deeper from, from every round we, we do, because we are in the same place. I see like uh, philosophy is uh, to compare to, to a cosmos. I see like philosophy is like uh, philosophy, the dream is like the sun, okay? The sun gives us the light, give us the, the life, okay? Without sun, without light, won't be life. Um, we'll be all uh, a wasteland, okay? And here in the earth, we have the methodology and the planning. We have the tools and the doing. But uh, reflecting the sun's light and controlling our emotions is the moon. The moon is about our emotions, our dragons. Dragon is uh, the, the friction, the energy that we feel when the expectatives are different from the from the reality. So the celebration is about humans connection. We need to use this amazing tool to learn how to manage our dragons. Because it's quite difficult to manage our dragons in real time, when it's happening, we need a tool, we need the celebration to see like a movie when, when all passes and learn about it and try again in real time until we could manage to dance with, dra with dragons in real time. For me, this is uh, one of the most important uses of celebration, to talk about the problems, to party about the, power, the problems, to laugh about the problems. And we skip it. For me, celebration is a place for reflect, analyze and celebrate to look at what happened while opening our hearts to the others. We need to, to, to show our vulnerability, to talk about our emotions, to open our heart with others, because uh, mostly we don't have the trust to do it, but if I don't trust in me to do it and I don't do it, why do I expect other people we do it? We talk about, uh, I don't know to translate, Danny, please help me, ejemplo vivo. Life example. Yeah, life example. We are like uh, a life example. Our, uh, our action speaks for us. If we want somebody to trust me, I need to trust him or her first. If, I'm, if I want somebody to, to talk about their feelings, I need to start talking about it. It needs to be quite brave to do it, of course. But for me, it's the way to do it. Also, celebration is a place for charismatic communication and deep listening. I, it's funny for me because uh, I thought we'll, we'll do this exercise of charismatic communication and then forget about it. I do it. I do it I, until I realize, whoa, 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 wait a moment. Charismatic communication is uh, only an example. This, this exercise, this, this dy dynamic is only an example of what I could do at every time, at every moment. I just need, I just need to, to imagine this bubble around me and expand this bubble around 
everything else. And I start talking with my open hair. So at the end, celebration is a place for authenticity. As the, as the Australian Aboriginal people, they call themselves the authentics because they see us as non-authentics. Because uh, when, when we talk, we don't, we don't talk with open heart. We don't, we don't talk about what we thought, which is the, the first blockage, the, the, the blockage of the dreaming. Um, we don't talk about what we thought. The second one is uh, I'm looking for the for the word. Sorry. Um, we don't. The first blockage, sorry, sorry, I, ha I have a mistake. The, the first blockage is uh, we, don we don't dream. We have difficulty to, to, to consider alternatives. The second is that we don't express our ideas, our ideas, our thoughts. And the third is that we don't do as we said. So when we arrive at the celebration, we need to talk about it. Why? And the important thing, the, 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 the mistake is that we are always avoiding this because it's unpleasant, it's un uncomfortable because we are talking about our own private um, oneself <laughs> and with other people. And it's uneasy, I know it. But the thing is that uh, we have different levels of, of celebration we have different outtakes of celebration and we could uh, start with with the with the less deep celebration just talking about the problems just talking about tools and things like that uh, using the the metaphor of the of the weather to talk about our feelings if we are a little bit comfortable and to get more comfortable, we could start talking about uh, a little bit about our feelings until we could open ourselves to the rest. This, this is what I do. And this is how I learned to, to, to talk with you now with my open heart and to, to share with you my thoughts and, and to be brave and not to make this this talk so this is it because uh, in the end uh, celebration is a place to talk to listen to hack to heal oneself and others because uh, as as we see later uh, the first thing we need to do to cool celebrate with others we need to celebrate with ourselves. We need to talk to ourselves. We need to listen to ourselves. We need to hug to ourselves and we need to heal to ourselves. The healing process through personal development is a vital part of Dragon Dreaming. We need to, to incorporate that to, to our projects. Because it's the only way that uh, we deepen our relation with other people. And this is the, the only way I know uh, to, 
to build uh, a strongest uh, communities, to be a little bit rude, share our sheets with others makes us better, better people and make a strong uh, bond with, with other people. And this is what we should do in celebration. And this is what we are keeping away. And when we are able to do with ourselves, we, we could make it privately, okay? Uh, we start to be able to make with others. Because celebration is a color. Carla Gould is the is the fire we where we all sit around and talk about our stories, the stories of our lives, the stories of our projects. We party, we laugh about our failures, and we learn about it. Celebration is a very big calapur. In the end, it's a place to, to return to our essence. Uh, we have an enterprise uh, uh, where, where we, we talk and, and teach about personal development, which is called Volver a la Esencia. And, and what we are doing is uh, returning to our essence. And our essence is what makes us uh, authentic people, like the Aboriginal people. And in the end, this is the celebration for me. So, okay, this is this is the end of the chat. This is the moment to talk. I talk too much. I just stop um, studying. Uh, we have until the end to talk about it. What, what do you think? Please, I want to, to listen all of you. Hi, Raphael. I would like to um, I would like to express my gratitude to you for um, for doing this. Um, I do feel like you're very brave. Like even the, the the topic, you know, the the name of your topic, why dragon dreaming doesn't work, <laughs> is a pretty strong topic. Um, and and I do see that you talk, um, you know, authentically and you're showing up this way and also imagine doing it in English is not, also, not, also not the easiest way for you to talk about it. <laughs> so I'm a bilingual person too, so I understand that and um, I really appreciate this. And um, very similarly, like Valeria um, felt some resistance because I feel like I'm a little bit like that too. And the criticism I, I hear from people that I work with sometimes in my family that generalizations don't work, you know, for them. Um, and yet, but I, what I'm hearing in your, um, you know, your presentation that I appreciate this idea of coming back to the essence. So there is like, there must be a difference between generalizations and essence of things. And the same way as people, we have our own essence we can connect to. There is also dragon dreaming also has its own essence that is pure. And, um, and I think that's where you're saying the simplicity is. Um, but the complexity, I think, happens because, you know, there is so many people, right? There is so many essences. And then also, I still also believe it's also true that there is Right now, I think it's both the challenge and the gift of our times that I do believe there is more ways available right now to us for all of it, for personal development and for community building and for helping the earth. Um, and, um, and it's probably a good thing because different people based on what the essence is connect to different ways of doing it but like the goal is this i want to believe that the goal is the same so but for me personally i think what i'm um, taking away from this is um 
you know this idea of responsibility you talked about i um i have some mixed feelings about this word but i like to think about it as commitment yeah uh like for me personally i feel you know commitment is a choice um commitment is a choice and like for me i i have been you know choosing an empowerment right daniela that I have been choosing, dragon dreaming kind of came to me, or I came to it, who knows, and and I believe in it. And uh, how can I strengthen my own commitment with it, as all of it, both as a dreaming and celebration, which is easier for me to connect to, but also as a method and tools, which sometimes I struggle in terms of um imposing it on people because you know as you say people say oh you know we know this tool and that tool and it's not about like the right or the wrong tool but it's about the commitment and also the agreement i think for people like you know because i've been having some challenges also with people in my community not wanting to do dragon dreaming because they have other tools that um they find for themselves right now more efficient but I also appreciate what Valeria said about the, the values, because we choose the tools uh, at any point of time based on what do we value, what is kind of our priority value at the moment. If it's efficiency, time efficiency specifically, and you know people are not willing to meet a uh, number of times and build connections, then yes, dragon dreaming is not going to work. But um, if it is re building relationships and community, then, you know, dragon dreaming will work, but we need to spend, like, in terms of the tools, we need to spend this time. We need to spend this time together connecting so we can open up more. Because I agree with you. I think dragon dreaming to me doesn't work if there is not enough openness. And, you know, and this is the process. This is also why I like it so much because it does require opening our hearts and if we stay just in our minds then we're just going to be dealing with the dragons it's not that dragon dreaming doesn't work but we can't move on you know we're kind of blocked we're just going to be at the stage of the dragons which has its own value and maybe that's where we are you know but uh, yeah so it's um it's helpful for me like it's a good reminder for myself where i am and what's important for me and and I appreciate you and I appreciate you standing up for it because part of my yeah. biggest dragon and my challenge is to, since I was a child, is to stand up for what I really believe in, <laughs> you know, so I appreciate you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your words. Um, well, um, a lot of things uh, you said. Um, I appreciate so much what you said. Uh, really, really appreciate it. And um, it, the, the thing of the personal development is that uh, when, when you understand you, your mistakes and you see other people uh, make the same mistakes, you are most, more compassive to them. And it's bothered you less <laughs> because, because it's like, oh, I was there, I know what happened. I, it's like I'm in your shoes now because I, I remember when I do that and I know how do you feel now and oh give me a hug <laughs> you know it's like that so uh, this is how how you depend your your connection with, with the rest of the people you know because you understand their mistakes because uh, you, you did the same mistakes. So it's like uh, I know that <laughs> I know what you're thinking now I know approximately how do you feel and it's like you know give me a hug okay it's okay it doesn't matter so the do you feel it like um the the dragons are less fierce and also there are no dragons it's like ah, i know where you are <laughs> but it's not like ha, ha 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 i'm laughing at you no it's like oh please i know that oh, come on doesn't matter go on you will learn, don't worry. You know, it's like compassive, it's, it's more compassive. You behave more compassive with the rest of the people. So, so the relations are easier 
with you. And um, uh, regarding the words, uh, is 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 about the labels. W words are li like labels we use to, to to name ideas or concepts. Uh, you are using different labels to the same concept. We said responsibility. You said commitment. It's okay. Perfect. Now we know that. So when you are using commitment, we know that uh, you refer as the same concept that we use for responsibility and, and in the other way. So we will have less trouble when we talk in. And we won't fight about, no, 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 no. It's responsibility. No, 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 it's commitment. How many, how many meetings do you see that? And for me, it's like, oh, please. I take out my, 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 my non-real popcorns and it's like, okay, let's go on. I'm waiting, I, I'm in Pinacari, let's go on. Because when, when somebody is with, with dragons, uh, you just need the dragons to, to express themselves because it's not, it's not the people, it's not the person, it's not him or herself, it's just the dragon. And, and the other thing about the deficient tools is, is quite funny because they are efficient because uh, the dragons are, uh, are not allowed to express because other people, because most of the efficient tools we use are we lose and it based in control. Other people uh, do the same things in the same way. And if anyone disagrees, the tendency is to make this person to shut up. And this, this person, this green dog, as we say in, in Spain, Perro Verde, these are strange people that bother everyone, is the amazing opposite active is the only one who sees everything in a different point of view, is the most helping human being for our projects. When, when you let the people express, talk, just about their opinion about what uh, is doing in the projects, all efficient tools goes to the toilet. Because when there is no control, there are dragons. You could see, okay, we are uh, achieve the, the objectives. But when you listen to the people, All what they are doing is to, to criticize everything, to, to, to express uh, how bad they feel. And when I was trying to talk, uh, the, the facilitator said me to, to shut up because we need to focus on the objectives and we need to advance and we need to, 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 to get to the goal. And I feel bad because what the other said is blah, blah, blah. And I feel bad. Uh, these tools are efficient, most of them, not all of them, because there are some tools that are based in the same principle as Dragon Dreaming, because the principles of Dragon Dreaming are the Aboriginal philosophy, which is also the philosophy of most of the Aboriginal uh, people in the world. And, and also is the, the philosophy about Knowing our, ourselves, which is some part of the philosophy of some uh, um, uh, psychologists like Jung and things like that. So in the end, when, when, when you stop controlling things, you will find chaos and drowns. And all these efficient, all, all those efficient tools will stop working.
And the only thing that works is Dragon Dreaming and, and, and other living systems like Dragon Dreaming, which have the same base. Okay, uh, friends say you need to go. Okay, uh, Valeria says uh, she needs to go. So, okay, thank you, Valeria. It's been thank a you, pleasure. Raphael. I need to go too. Thank you okay, so okay. much. Thank wait, you. Wait, 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 okay. wait a little more. And we make a photo and, and, and we finish. If, if you're okay, okay. One second. One second. One second. <laughs> uh, uh, wait. It's just a minute. Uh, a screenshot. Uh, this is Volver a la Esencia. Okay. Uh, we are in Telegram, in YouTube, Instagram, and we have this web. One Scooby Doo, two no, Scooby Doo, -Doo three Scooby Doo, -Doo four Scooby Doo, -Doo five Scooby Doo. -Doo. Okay. A screenshot. And the next, this is me, Rafael, Telegram, uh, YouTube, and Instagram. One Scooby Doo, -Doo make the screenshot. Two Scooby Doo, -Doo three Scooby Doo, -Doo four Scooby Doo, -Doo five Scooby Doo. -Doo and that, that's it. Okay, thank you for everything. I just stop sharing. Uh, do you have it? Or I go too, too fast? I, I don't want to, to, to maintain you too much long. It's okay? You have it? Do I need? Okay, okay, perfect. For the people in the video, just stop the video and, and make the screenshot. It's easy. Okay, bye. Thanks for all. See you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Okay, stop, stop recording.